Welcome back to the Adventures of Don Cherry and the good old Canadian boys. I'm going to try to make some trades here as we're sitting 8th in our division, which means we're probably not going to make the playoffs, even though we're only 5 spots out. Um, it's a very, very tight division, and we've played a lot more games, so let's try to wheel some deals here. Um, now, we're going to have to give a little bit more than a third round pick, unfortunately. Um, let's see if there's any other players they want. How much salary cap do they have? So they have a little bit of salary cap here. Uh, skaters matching block. So they like Alzner, they like McKinnon. Who doesn't like McKinnon? Joel Ward, I kind of want to keep. Uh, Dorset, I could get rid of, but I think Ronaldo's going to be the one I want to get rid of first. So they still approve of this value wise, and we got three players coming in. Um, duh, duh, duh. All right, well, they, they like Bertuzzi. Do they like Dorset? There we go. So we got rid of Dorset. He, as good as he was for the team, he just was not doing it. And we got a first-round pick for Bertuzzi, which is always good getting the first-round picks because, again, this is, looks to be a fairly deep draft. So um, now we have to find uh, some skaters matching the block. And actually, we just got to go by age. Uh, Willie Mitchell. And then... Uh, da -da -da. And Chris Pronger is going to be the other one. Pronger's been good for us and all. It's just, he's got a very high trade value, so um, if we can find a team that'll take him, we might be able to get a first round pick out of it. So let's see if they're willing to give up anyone, who they're willing to give away. Uh, Pissick, not really interested in him too much. Uh, let's see, they have a first round pick, so we might be able to swing a first round pick straight up. Um, again, is it just cap wise they can't take it? Um, it's going to be roster-wise this time, so we're going to have to take a roster player. And oh, we're trading with Boston, though. Don't really want to trade with Boston. Uh, Calgary, let's see. We can retain the salary up to the point where it's almost takeable. So we'd have to take James Wright and Klingberg. So we have to take two kind of scrub. Actually, we could just take Klingberg and... Wotherspoon? No, we'd have to take James Wright. So we'd have to take James Wright. Um, and I don't really want to do that trade if we have to take an extra player that we really don't need. Uh, Dallas, again, that's max retained salary, so we can kind of see who we're able to trade with here. Uh, so Montreal can take them. Don't have the best of relationships with them, but you know what? We might be able to um, work up a deal here. So who are they willing to give away? Um, Merrill, not really interested. Um, second round, their first next year for Pronger. Trade value wise, we're definitely losing on that one. So Montreal would be an option. We can always go back to them. Again, we're losing on that one, but um, no one else seems to really be interested in uh, Pronger other than people that either are Boston, Calgary, who we'd have to um, take back salary with that they're not willing to offer any salary with uh, Dallas who again we'd have to take back a player let's see if there's a player we could take back from them uh, Scarbosa alright um, nope so obviously not enough there so we'd have to take back um, and then Scarbosa and Mateau uh, what about Ekholm what about Corrado uh, alright so there we go uh, so Corrado is equal. We're getting some prospects in here, but I'd rather just have the first round pick to be completely honest from the Habs, even if it means we're playing against Pronger for a year. I don't, I don't see Pronger lasting more than a year, so I think we might just do that pick, that play, and get him, him, and let's see if they have a young prospect that we can steal out for, away from them. Uh, the Palm might not be bad, but uh, Ponich Siemens. Uh, 20, yeah, I think we're going to go with, we're going to take Siemens and, um, Siemens in the first, I believe. I thought this fit last time, but, um, do we have to take a roster player from them? Because salary cap, salary cap, I know it fits. Uh, oh, we have to take, we have to call up a player to do this trade. So, Siemens, does the trade work otherwise? Yeah, this trade works otherwise, so um, 
Let's see. We'd have to take back a roster player. Um, skaters giving away. They really don't. So we'd have to go. Let's go call up someone. Um, and we'll go and make that trade with the Habs maybe. Maybe they'll be nice to us. And again, we're going to be trading with some evil people. But um, not actually. But uh, we have to sign someone, I believe. And all right, so yeah, we do have to sign someone right here. Um, let's go ahead and let's do some free agency. Let's see if there's anyone in here uh, that we can pick up for cheap. Again, Samuelson, third line center. Uh, sure, why not? Um, yeah, let's pick up Koivu. Let's just give him the let's just give him the deal. Uh, two way contract. Yeah, two-way contract works. Um, so we have to offer up him something that gives us a little bit less cap space to work with, but at the same time, uh, we're gonna be trading a lot of ways. So let's just send in some offers to these guys, and that way we have some depth. Um, let's look at goalies here. Age. Just make sure there's no like. Sometimes there's like these random guys who are really stinking good. Um, Ooh, I don't think I can... Oh, I can't sign either one. I can't sign Samuelson or... Crap, I made a mistake there. Um, yeah, I am going to have to trade them away right away. I will figure out what to do with that quickly. Um, yeah, I really should have thought that out before I did that trade. Or before I offered the sign. So let's go ahead. We're going to sign them and we're just going to trade them away um, pretty quickly here. Alright, so... Wedgwood, a fur, oh, no thank you, no way, shape, or form, and I'm getting rid of that, um, and we're gonna trade, we're gonna trade to Montreal, alright, so we definitely signed both of them, I think, um, there we go, alright, so we're gonna have to trade both of them away here, and Don Cherry's a big Saku Koivu fan, but I don't think he wants a good old Canadian boy on this team, Mistakes were made, unfortunately. I was a bit of an idiot there, so we're actually just going to be trading them away right away, um, which sucks. But at the same time, Koivu, eh, he's in the minors. Same with Samuelson. I mean, yeah, we're going to have to trade them away for pretty much nothing. All right, so Boston, we will take whatever you can give us for them. We will take a third-round pick, and let's see, why isn't this approved? Um... So I have to sign a Canadian player. Crap. Um, for lack of a better term, I have to sign a Canadian player. Keep on forgetting about these little little things I put in. It's very easy to forget about, especially when they don't have that Canadian flag there. Um, Adams, is he Canadian? He is Canadian. All right, perfect. So we will we will give him that contract. Offer. There we go. And then. Um, Scott Thornton, I know he's going to be Canadian, so. Uh, and then two way, yeah, we'll do that. I'm pretty sure he's Canadian, yeah, he's Canadian. So, all right, now we should have the players to do this with. We're going to have to bring them up through through the waiver process, but um, let's see here. There we go. Um, there we go, and all right, so we got some players brought in here. Now let's make some roster moves, and we'll call some players up. So we will call up. Uh, we obviously have to call up Adams, and then we have to call up Thornton, and then we have to trade away uh, trade away Samuelson, and then trade away Koivu for pretty much nothing. Um, Koivu, again, they're still not on our roster, so technically... Technically doesn't count a ton, but um, they haven't affected a game at least, which is nice. So let's start by age here. We're going to have to get rid of Koivu, so we'll find a team that wants him, that has a salary cap. Washington seems to be a pretty good destination. Um, who are they willing to give away? We'll take any player for him, pretty much. Um, skaters giving away. We'll give them Ferk for... Um, Let's see, see if they'll do that. All right, so we picked up a prospect for a free agent. That's always a good deal. And then we need to find uh, Samuelson here. He's up next. And what happened to Pronger? Oh, yeah, he's not matching the block. I was going to say, did he go missing? Um, 
So here we go. So Samuelson, and again, Washington kind of likes him. Vancouver likes him. Um, let's we gotta look at salaries though. So let's see. Vancouver has a salary. Let's see what um who they have. They have Tory Krug, who might not be a bad pickup. Um, goalies giving away. Not really interested in them. And then a second round, we could get their first round. Now we might be able to get a second round this year for him. Um, let's see. No, it's definitely not enough. All right. Um, see if we can pick up Krug or. Oh, yeah, Krug's American, right? Gotta watch out for this. Wait, who did we pick up from them? Who did we pick up in that trade? Crap, I completely forget who. This Canadian thinks, again, I'm, I gotta be used to it too, so, um, rookie skaters, we picked up Ferk. Ferk is definitely not, um, not Canadian, so we'll have to throw him in the trading block as well. Um, and we will have to find a team that's interested in him. Uh, Minnesota's interested in Samuelson. So Samuelson and Ferk, we need a Canadian assistance. Yeah. So, again, bit of a downgrade. Um, and we can just retain some salary. It's actually approved. So we're giving up a little bit more. Uh, so they're probably pretty even, so maybe we can get rid of... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I went to remove them, but... All right, so we just lost Ferk for pretty much nothing. Um, who did we trade away? We traded away Koivu. So Koivu pretty much netted us Sissons, and that's pretty much it. Um, no retained salary there. Now we have to get rid of Pronger. So we have the roster player. We have a roster player now to make up for it, which is really nice. Now we have to get rid of Pronger, which is the defenseman. And where is he? Age. There he is. All right, so there's Montreal who wanted him. They have the cap space for him. And we should be able to pick up Siemens. Do we want Siemens or Bulmer? Bulmer's, are, Bulmer's a year older. He's got two years left on a lighter salary. You know what? Siemens is going to be easier to pry out. Um, and then Jari. Um, and we'll take their, we'll take their first round. So their first round and Siemens for Pronger. First round Siemens and let's pick up another. I think we might be able to pick up another player actually. We might be able to pick up Balmer as well. So we got a first round Balmer and Siemers, Siemens for, prong, uh, for Pronger. So that was pretty good. I think we did pretty good there. Again, as much as I like Pronger on the team, we're probably not going to make the playoffs here. So um, let's just go forward a day here and let's see what we're kind of shaping up like here. Um, yeah, my GM rep probably dropped. So Ben Lovejoy, uh, again, kind of accidentally made that mistake right there of trading the, signing those players right away. But um, let's go to GM Tracker, or not GM Tracker. Actually, we might as well upgrade our staff. So we might as well upgrade our amateur scout here and our assistant coach, I believe. Uh, yeah, let's get our assistant coach as well. Confirm the purchases and exit. And yeah, so that is all that she wrote for this episode. Let's go through uh, GM options and see if it's transaction news. All right, so yeah, um, pretty much. It started off where we signed, where we accidentally signed. Um, all right, so we called up um, Slater Cuckoo and Griffin and sent them back down. Um, then we trade away Bertuzzi Dorset and a third round pick for a first round pick which I'm fine with. Um, and we signed Samuelson and Koivu by accident. Then we signed Thornton and Adams. And then we sent Reinhardt to Junior. Koivu to Toronto. Ferk and then acquired Ferk for Koivu. And we traded away Samuelson and Ferk for Colton Sissons. Then we traded Pronger for Siemens, Bulmer, and a first-round draft pick. And that's where we're at. Um, AHL assignments. Let's see if we... Um, yeah, we claimed off um, pretty much him. And let's see if we sent Mc I think we sent McKinnon back down. I want to make sure here, though. So let's go ahead and let's go with forwards. And I really I don't see any of the CHL players. It's kind of... Do they just disappear if they're not in the system? I guess so. Because um, let's go through contracts. I know I have Drewen. It's just where is he? 
Uh, assert my potential. Did he disappear? Or, oh, main roster in the system. There we go. You having some panic attacks, but yeah, no one's really increased other than Drew N, and that's about it. But we definitely beefed up um, our prospects as far as everything else goes, and rookie goalies again. Byzantine looks solid, so looking pretty good for us so far. And yeah, that is about it for this episode, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. I'm gonna sim up, sim up to the trade deadline and see you guys there. Take it easy, and I'll catch you on the floor.